time for the part of the show where I take on a celebrity and their favourite dish. And tonight, it's Kelly Brook taking me on with her stuffed peppers. But I reckon it's her who's going to get stuffed. Are you ready? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, Excited? This is a proper challenge. Now, what are you cooking today, my darling? <laughs> OK, I'm doing stuffed peppers. Right. It's a dish that Sounds I had... Sounds dreadful. Uh, so, where did you... No, Excuse me. Delicious, sorry, delicious. Oh, so, my God, I'm nervous, though. So, <laughs> Depression. <laughs> You're doing a stuffed pepper. I'm doing a stuffed tomato. Right, OK. okay? But please don't copy me. <laughs> So, look, this is tried and tested. You grew up with the love of food. I did indeed. My yep. mum's a fantastic cook, actually. Really? And what kind of things did mum used to cook when you were a kid? Um, roast dinners yep. and... Um, Steak and kidney look, pie. She cooks everything from Indian food to Chinese food. Uh-huh. So, sweat the onions off, a little bit of colour. Touch of allspice and cinnamon. Cook out the spices, otherwise it leaves that real raw flavour across the mince. Oh, that was so hot. Pretty much ready to start making the mince now, I think. You live with Danny, yes? Yes. Your long-term boyfriend, yeah? Yes. Rugby star. He's a lot younger than you. Does he keep on your toes? Not a lot younger. Well, I mean... So a few yeah. years. I'm eight years older than my wife, Tana. Are you? Yeah, she yes. keeps him on my toes in a big way. I mean, a massive way. OK. He's nine years younger than you, so he keeps you on your toes. Or stilettos. I like to think I give him a run for his money. Show me your right. uh, kitchen shoes. What have you got on? Oh, I've got some Prada <laughs> Mary Jane's on. <laughs> Is that not appropriate? <laughs> Right, you blanched your peppers in boiling water. I, I blanched mine in boiling water to take the skin off. So, peeled. I'm going to cut the tops off now and then scrape out the insides. I've just put in half a teaspoon of this cinnamon. Yep. A little pinch of mint, a little pinch of oregano, mm -hmm. just to kind of flavour the mint. Um, dried um, mint. Oh, you've got fresh mint. I prefer dried mint. I think it's tastier. Really? Don't you? Uh, do you know what? When fresh mint's available, over dried, I'd rather go fresh all the time. Is that just because you're a bit of a snob, though? No, <laughs> far from being a snob, trust me. <laughs> I want to win. <laughs> now, I'm toasting my pine nuts in with the mints. Yeah, I'm going to add um, half a cup of rice. Chop the remaining bits of tomato up. Two thirds mints, one third rice. And then just finish that with a little zest of lemon and lemon juice. Uh, what's that that you're making? A little bit of drizzle to go over the peppers. You are so technical, you know that. Oops. Do you like eating food like this? Or do you, do you like poncy food? I'll eat anything. Because you make poncy food, don't so you? <laughs> <laughs> Three Michelin stars. That gives me gas all that French food. I just yeah. don't do it. Did you say posh food gives you gas? <laughs> it was horrendous. <laughs> so Kelly's put feta cheese at the bottom. I'm going at the top of my tomatoes with a feta. Now. No, that's what I was going to do. Did... Oh, actually, I'll put mine in the bottom. Right, the peppers and the tomatoes now go in the oven for half an hour. We come back and the blind tasters get to taste them.